All right, let's get you back outside as we're checking in with Aaron Mayoski to see what's ahead for the weekend. Thank God it's Friday. I know. Oh, I was just going to say, forgot. I was looking longingly over at Aliana. I said, thank goodness oh. it's Friday, Aaron. And you know what? <laughs> what driving in today, I actually saw some sunshine, Yay. which was beautiful. Really nice. We're going to get some of that this weekend, too, but we're also going to get heavy lowland rain and some mountain snow and maybe that little mixture of that wintry mix coming our way. Here's a look saying goodnight out on the Washington coast, doing all right, and you're talking about some of that sunshine, Hannah. We're seeing just a little bit as we get ready to say goodbye as the sun sets uh, it set at 419 so it's just one minute from now and we will be done with our Friday and heading off into the sunset into the weekend 42 degrees really chilly right now in parts of the downtown area some of us around 39 at Boeing Field and as we look at our sky conditions not surprising that we've got mostly clear skies out on the coast with cooler temperatures also through the islands hello to you in Friday Harbor and up to the north and western Whatcom County we're seeing some really chilly spots for Birch Bay and Blaine and into Linden and Bellingham and backing down through Skagit County, Mount Vernon and Everett. Same goes. And then we get a little cloud cover in and around the downtown area, but we were able to see some of that sun popping through. So we are at 39 for Everett, 41 for Bellingham right now. And as we look at the 41s, we're going to take a stretch of those all the way from just about Bellingham through the islands, through the Strait and Port Angela Squim and out towards Forks and Mia Bay. So we'll hold on to that temperature for a little bit longer. Big picture shows us that we do have activity coming our way. We've got the cold air mass coming down and a few systems that are going to push on in this weekend. So as we go through the overnight hours, the showers will start to pick up even though we are dry right now. So enjoy it while you can. If you need to do any yard cleanup, you have several more hours to do that. But into the overnight, we'll bring the rain in and those temperatures will back down to about 38 degrees in and around the downtown area and Bremerton as well. That is normal. We we'll just slightly cooler to the south. It was cooler this morning when we woke up. It took a bit to get going, but again, tomorrow will be slightly warmer. 35 overnight for Bellingham. 36 for Friday Harbor in Port Angeles, 37 for Snohomish County in uh, Everett there. So the cool air in place, we've got a couple of weather makers going to push some systems in our way. And as they do, that will meet up with our colder air and we'll see some snow falling in the mountains. In fact, it's going to be a decent amount, which we could use after all that rain came through and just kind of washed away what we'd already built up. So this is tonight at 1130 and you can see uh, the northern and dropping down towards the central cascades and pushing out to the east are seeing some of those snow showers ride right in. We're going to get a lot that pushes out to the east. In fact, we're under a winter weather advisory as we get going into the overnight hours. But look at the heavy greens rain coming our way. What I do want to talk about a little bit up in Skagit and Whatcom County, maybe that mixture heading down to about a thousand feet in the higher elevations as we go down and those snow levels start to drop. We'll see if we do get any mix up in the North Sound, but for the most part, we'll just see some really wet conditions, rain in the lowlands and again in through the Cascade. So if you're planning on Cascade travel, it could be tough at times. Here's a look at it now. We're doing just fine. It's bare in most spots, but we are under a winter weather advisory in the overnight hours, anywhere from eight to 10 inches, especially on the eastern slopes of the Cascades. So here are some of those totals. 13 for Snoqualmie, 14 for Stevens, and 11 for Baker as we get rolling through with a couple inches out over the Olympics. Seven day forecast shows us those temperatures hang on as we go Saturday, Sunday, into Monday. At this point, it looks like they're going to be chilly and cool if you're heading out to any sporting events. UW men's soccer on Saturday, and then Sunday looks to be dry for the Seahawks as they host the 49ers, guys.